Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at factorizing quadratics where the coefficient of x squared is not 1. All right, so let's go straight into it. So this is what the question that I have. Now, in my previous video I told you guys that um, you know if the coefficient of x squared is greater than 1, see if you can find a common factor, uh, take out the common factor and see if you can do it as a quadratic. But in this case, you can see the numbers that you're working with. You've got two, and then you've got seven and three. So really, you're gonna be working with decimal, decimal values. So it doesn't really work like that. Now, the way in which you factorize this, there's a couple of ways you can do this. I mean, first one is obviously guessing and checking. Um, the problem with guessing and checking is that when you start dealing with negatives and big numbers, it starts getting a bit tedious. It just takes too long. So there is an algorithm or there's a way to do this and uh, bear with me. I'm going to go go through this and I'll show you guys how to do this. All right. So you got a couple of steps that you need to do. Um, so I'll, I'll put it in color code so that you kind of know what's what what you need to do. Uh, OK, now we're not going to use black. We're going to use blue. All right. So the first step you want to do is you want to multiply the coefficient of t uh, x squared and the constant by itself. So in this case, what you want to do is you're going to do 2 times 3, and that equals to 6. So that's your first step. All right. Now, your second step is working with this coefficient of x. So what you want is you want two numbers that is going to multiply to 6 and two numbers that is going to add to 7. Okay. So two numbers that multiply to six and two numbers that add to the same two numbers adding to seven. Again, I told you guys I'm working with a really easy example here. So you can kind of see that six times one is six and six plus one is seven. All right. So this is where the third step is going to be um, coming crucial. So this six and one is, has got a part to play in it. So what we're going to do with the six and one is we're going to split this seven X as 6x and 1x. So I'm going to show you guys here. I've got 2x squared, all right, plus 6x plus 1x, and of course I still have that plus 3. Okay, so all I've done is I've done a bit of algorithm to actually separate that 7x as 6x and x. Once I do this, my next step which is the fourth step, is I need to factorize two terms. What I mean by that is that you almost want to split this up into two parts. All right, the plus is still there. All right, the plus hasn't disappeared. But I want to factorize the left-hand side, and then I want to factorize the right-hand side. So it's really important that I need to factorize it, because so if I was to factorize this, um, on this side here, I've got, I'm looking at this one here, I've got 2x squared plus 6x, and I want to factorize it. So if I want to factorize it, I'm going to get 2x, x plus 3. Now, the crucial thing that you want to be doing is that on the right-hand side, which is the orange side, maybe not the orange side, let's choose a different color. The purple side, you want to have some number multiplied by x plus 3. Why x plus 3? Because there's an x plus 3 here, and you want to make sure that there's an x plus 3 here as well. And we can do that, because we can actually replace this as 1 times x plus 3, because that's all it is there. So now what you have is, you've actually got the two orange or the golden parts, which is the x plus 3, as a common factor. So you can take that out, and you'll end up with x plus 3, and now you have your 2x and plus 1 is going to end up here. And with that, you have actually factorized this as x plus 3 times 2x plus 1. Now, I, I told you guys this was going to be a lengthy process, um, you know, working through the, through the steps there. But um, it does work out, and you know you can always check your answer, expand the expand the two quadratics, and see if it actually if you get the final answer. That's a good way to check. I'm going to do one more example. Uh, I do apologize; it is going to take a bit longer, but just bear with me. All right. 
So here we go, we've got 3x squared minus 7x minus 6. We'd like to factorize this. So the very first step we want to do is we want to multiply 3 and 6, but you've got to take the negatives into consideration. So 3 times negative 6 is going to be negative 18. So our second step is we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 18 and add to negative 7, which is from here. And we kind of know that this is going to be negative 9 and positive 2, negative 9 and positive 2. So now what I could do is split that negative 7x as negative 9x and 2x. So we're going to get 3x squared minus 9x plus 2x and minus 6. So this point right here, we've got to try and split them up and factorize the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So if I factorize the left-hand side, I've got 3x and 9, 3 and 9, so 3, I can write this as 3x multiplied by x minus 3. And if you expand it, you should get 3x squared minus 9x. Plus, I've got 2x and minus 6 here. So obviously 2 is a common factor, so this is going to be 2x minus 3. And as you can see, these two are now common factors here. So we can write this up as x minus 3 multiplied by whatever these two things are, which is 3x plus 2. And of course, writing it nicely, we got x minus 3 and 3x plus 2 as our final factorized version of this quadratic. So guys, that's how you factorize um, quadratic equations if the coefficient of x squared is greater than 1. All right, so you've got this long method of doing this, or as I said before, you can guess and check as well. Okay, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you for watching.